All right, so in this one, we're going to be doing not my real, real tier list, but an anniversary tier list. All the anniversary units rated on the list, um, even if they don't make, let's say, Z, God, S, A, or B, they will put, you know, be put somewhere on this list. So let's just jump straight into it with the EXs, I would say. Um, here, it's kind of weird. I don't know why Super Saiyan 4 Goku's there, then Gogeta's like all the way left, but regardless... EX Baby. Um, EX Baby. Now, remember, these are Sparkings and EXs compared together, which is very hard to do because a lot of EXs aren't on Sparking levels, and some are, so it'll diversify. Now, Baby. Uh, Baby is probably B tier. Um, Baby is good against Saiyans and good against Gokus, but that is not enough. Uh, all he gets is Strike Card down, well, Strike Card cost down. And then card just speed infinitely, mind you, went against Goku's, but it only lasts for, what, five counts? Doesn't have a lot of damage buffs. Uh, he's a good red option for GT. I believe he's strike attack and defense, so it's not terrible, given GT is more blast-based with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super 17. But he's not a terrible option. He's a sub-option on your GT team if you don't have Omega and if you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Zenkai 7. Well, Zenkai at all, honestly. Not terrible. Cool EX to pull. Honestly, cool art, and that's probably his uh, most forefront thing that you notice about him. EX Gotenks. Uh, EX Gotenks easily A. Honestly, I might even move him up by the end of this, so this tier list might change a little bit as we continue. But Gotenks easy A. Um, if you don't know, Gotenks gets 60 key, a new hand on his main, then he has an uncancelable damage buff forever, and he has damage inflicted just stacked with uh, hybrids, he's a good green option if you don't have EX Future Gohan Zenkai 7. Unfortunately, he doesn't buff hybrids like HP or anything, he's just green and yellow, which kinda sucks. <laughs> Honestly, it goes with the meta team of Angel, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and uh, whoever the hell else you want to run, Gogeta if you want to run him. Kinda goes with that more thematically, but nonetheless, he is a great option, a great blast based unit for a hybrid team, and Honestly, I could see a case scenario where I rate him above, let's say, some of these other sparkings. But, to continue, I do think he is second best sparking. Maybe, or EX rather, on this banner. It's debatable with this guy. So, EX Super 17. Uh, also a in front or behind? In front or behind? I say behind just because he is actually in front. So, the only reason I put him in front, hold up, right here. Only reason I put him in front is because his Zenkai replacement is paid for, while EX Gotenks Zenkai replacement is free. So, EX Gotenks being replaced by uh, EX Gohan, which is a free option, is more obtainable than EX 17's replacement being Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who obviously is paid and more premium. So, EX Super 17, uh, double attack bench for GT and I believe Androids. Good blast space unit, gets card draw speed, gets good damage inflicted, and can tank pretty decently well, and he recovers at the end of a combo. Not a terrible EX, I think he'd be very formidable at high stars. Honestly, he's probably the best purple Android unit. Um, yes, 21 is still existent, but she's over a year old and she's aging quite rapidly, and Android is more blast based, so they do want more blast based units with this guy being that. He fills that role completely, and him at high stars will be a honestly necessary asset to an Android-based team. And obviously, if you have Super Saiyan 4 Goku on GT-based, this guy is not a mainstay, but Androids is a good team, and him being a number one pick in the coming future slash now makes him, I would say, above Gotenks level, where Gotenks is a number two option to EX Future Gohan. So... Sparkings now. Um, we'll do the hype ones, I guess, for last. Right? Oh no, EX Rose. I forgot. EX Rose. Um, EX Rose. I just used them earlier too. EX Rose is probably the worst EX on the banners. So, EX Rose gets shit on. Why? Why is Baby above EX Rose? EX Rose has nothing. Baby at least has more to Saiyans and to Goku's, right? EX Rose wants to tank, but he's an EX unit. 
EX Jose wants to do a little bit of damage, but he's an EX unit. He cannot do anything he wants to do because of him being an extreme. If he were a sparking, I think he'd be pretty good, but unfortunately he has the extreme treatment and until you have him higher stars, and yes, this is anniversary units um, coming with the anniversary. So you're not gonna compare them at like 14 star everyone, no, because EX Rosé is not logically going to be 14 stars for 99.9% .9 of the player base. So we're comparing them at the ideal one, well, typical, not ideal, one to three star range that you would compare any new EX unit because they're very hard to pull, and if you pull them, you're not pulling many copies. So EX Rosé just can't do anything he wants to do and very much lacks, um, honestly, everything. He doesn't stand out in any way in particular, and it's very unfortunate. So now we get to the sparkings. Now we'll do least hype to um, most hype. So obviously everyone's so hyped for Ice Shenron. Ice is S tier given. Remember, this is just anniversary units. This is not like the top echelon units in the game. It's just anniversary units we are rating here. Nothing more, nothing less. So Ice, he removes car he removes vanish rather um, on his main. He seals your enemy strikes when they swap, and he makes girls have less key. Basically, uh, he can lower your vanish gauge recovery uh, to the opponent when he lands strike arts. But besides that, he's kind of a one trick pony esque unit where you won't see much play with them. And you won't really prioritize him, and the only reason you would even see him in a matchup is because they're running a GT team and he is a blue option to where GT has literally no blue option besides EX, Sin Shenron, and Super Baby 2, who are both aging slash ones in EX, so they're gonna die quickly. So, Ice makes it S, let alone, or rather, just solo for him being the only blue viable option for GT. Now, Nova. Um, <laughs> okay, this guy. I do not like Nova. Um, Nova, does he, is he worse than Super, I, I rate Nova worse than Super 17. Yeah. So, um, you're going to debate me. You're going to be like, Nova's not that bad. Nova is the most reliant unit on another unit in the entire game. Let me explain. So Nova can lock both of you in, just like EX Ginyu does, right? They both lock both characters in. Now this guy, instead of just lock in, he takes away both characters' whole hands. So no hand and nothing. Then Nova gets buffs. So at three counts, he gets a damage buff. Five counts, he gets card draw speed. And eight counts, he gets more damage. Then with the main, he gets card draw speed. So he can get card draw speed up to two. That's great. You're both locked in. Now, how do you maximize Nova? You run Ice. Now, why? Ice, who removes Vanish on main, wants to do that so you can lock in with Nova. So, boom. You pop Ice's main, instantly swap. Pop Nova's main, Rising Rush. Because you both have no cards. They can't counter you. You can easily Rising Rush. And that's a great combo. But I'm wasting two main abilities to get a chance to kill somebody because Rising Rush isn't guaranteed. Nah. No. That is his only attribute, his only trait, his damage is subpar to shit, it gives no benefits, his barrier gives him no increases to anything but strike damage, and, didn't even remember this till now, his strike damage he gets for Dragon Balls is time-gated, time-limited rather, to 15 counts only, and it's only strike damage, while, and I've mentioned this because it irritates the shit out of me, Omega Shenron from last year gets damage inflicted to everything instead of just to one attribute, strike or blast, with Dragon Balls. Nova gets strike damage for 15 counts, 10% per ball. So you're telling me this guy wants to lock in to guarantee a rush, and then you're telling me he only gets up to 70%, but yet his main attribute would be stop time, main ability with ice, and then go to Nova, and then rush. But then, what do you have? You have a minus 70% damage because you have no Dragon Balls. There's no real benefit to Nova. He's not better than Super Saiyan 4 Goku, honestly. I don't think so. I know, it's probably a really hot take. I think LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku, let's say three stars, easily shits on Nova. Because there's not much you can do. 
He needs ice to be good. And if he has no ice, he ain't doing shit. He's dying. He's your rising rush fodder. Fuck Nova. I hate him. I don't, I don't understand why he came out for anniversary, and I don't understand why he's so mediocre. <laughs> Speaking of mediocre, okay. Whew, alright, we have two other... <laughs> okay, uh, Kefla. Kefla makes it to S. Barely. Now, Kefla, I do think, is worse than Ice, because Kefla is not replacing anybody. Um, factor in, by the way, I feel like this should be just kind of out there because I've said it multiple times, but this is team-wise and unit solo-wise. So, Kefla, you think, what teams can she be on? Fusion Warriors. Nope. Senkai 7 Gogeta. Okay. Uh, Rival Universe. Nope. Bergamo's 10 times better. Just, you can't debate me. Bergamo is 50 times better. I said 10, now it's 50. Then Kefla, just, there's no contest. If I need to even bring up the points, you don't even know what you're talking about. And then Girls... Honestly, I really like launch on girls, but fine. She can fit on girls, but girls really isn't a real tag. It's Android 18 and Vados, and then you just slap on whoever the fuck else. And Kefla here not having Blast Armor really shuts her down because you need someone that can kind of break through and give you some time to free up when you're swapping in and out, in and out of your girls' units. And someone without Blast Armor, it's very hard to do that with because they can just Blast Bait you, Tap Attack you, then you're stuck. Or you have to switch and then get lucky trying to catch them, yada, 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 yada. If she had Blast Armor, you could play a little bit more patient, kind of float, float, float. They'll be, like, kind of trying to understand how you play, but they won't fully get it. So you'll have time to stall and get your sub counts down. That's the point of Blast Armor. Not really to even use it, just to kind of float, 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 so you have your switches viable and ready to go. Kefla, what does she do? I don't like how they treated some of these units. So, Kefla has the same effect as Super Saiyan God of Vegeta. Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan God of Vegeta. And if you don't know, oh, you will now. Super Saiyan God Vegeta gets, what, I think 60% or 80% Vanish back when he sidesteps twice. Kefla gets Vanish Gauge Recovery back, or Vanish Gauge Recovery up to 60% when she sidesteps. So she is a worse off version than a unit that came out almost two years ago. Awesome. Her strikes, again, no blast armor. Her blast, um, mediocre. I really haven't run her much because I don't like her and because she doesn't replace anyone. Blue card is a throwing, um, you know, long range blue card, which is fine. Green card heals, which I guess, but there's so many better green cards on every single one of her teams. You really don't give a shit about her. And then her main ability, I don't even, what does it do? <laughs> I think it, what, nullifies their cover change, and that's all I really care about. And do I really care to use her over a Zenkai 7 that I can just drop combo with, and then probably one hand the entire unit? That's not color disadvantage to me. Don't really care about Kefla in that circumstance, because if I have a Zenkai 7 Gogeta, what's my Kefla going to do to outshine him? Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't like Kefla, but she does make it S because we're kind of setting a low bar for these uh, EXs here. And uh, Nova, <laughs> especially Nova. So, Vegito Blue. All right. I like them. Finally, someone I actually enjoy from this anniversary it took how many units is it? Actually, I like Super 17, but that's more because he's just a better option for a team that doesn't really need a better option. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. It's a lot of units. All right, Vegito Blue, let's talk. He is obviously the best non-LF unit from this banners. It's not even a debate. Um, now, here's the debate. Does he replace anybody on his teams? So UI Goku and Vegito Blue argument. It's a very mm, difficult one because UI Goku is a very skill-based unit while Vegito Blue is very vanilla. Now, Vegito Blue is a support-based unit who is blast-based. Now, is that good? Honestly, no. For fusions, um, he is not your ideal pick because they are very strike heavily oriented. And the only way that can change is when that base to Super Saiyan DBS movie Gogeta Zenkai's, you know, that's when it will become more of a blast centric team than you can run Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who has one and one. But for now, Vegito Blue kind of lacks, doesn't really fill a spot that fusions needs. 
again, I would much prefer bringing, let's say, Zenkai 7 Gogeta, um, Vegito Blue last year's, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, or Gogeta Blue, instead of running Vegeta Blue on my main Fusions team. Even if he does support, it just isn't enough for me to validate bringing him. Now, on God Key, like we just said, the UI Goku slash Vegito Blue argument. So let's say UI Goku's at three stars, right? Um, and Vegito Blue's at six, because, you know, you're going to start up your Vegito Blue. You like Vegito Blue. You think he's a cool unit. You're going to be like, okay, I want to get him star, 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 starred. And you'll get him to six. Get that Z ability, get the nice stars, you know, on him and all that. I think in that circumstance, Vegito Blue wins. But if you have a UI Goku that's, I'd say, anywhere higher, like four and up, UI Goku wins. Uh, again, the support Vegito Blue offers just isn't enough. Sure, his uh, ultimate does the same Bardock effect with the Blast Armor, where it restores Vanish on usage. And it's not a long animation, so you can actually sidestep out of it. But what really other attribute is there to him? Sure, his green card's cool, but can't chain, so it's not really doing that much. Given inflicts no switching, but okay, cool. I don't, I don't see the biggest benefit to it. Um... Blue card is fine, and the green card, once again, destroys a Dragon Ball, but it's like, you get your Dragon Ball in the next hand, does it doesn't really affect the game overall as much as people would anticipate it does. So yes, while he is the best of the worst 3rd um, anniversary units here that's sparking, uh, just non-LF, I do not think he is the greatest thing in the entire world. I think he is okay on the teams he can be run on, and... I don't even think he's a main unit for the teams he can be run on. But, going into the LFs, so who's better than who? Huh. Uh, this is not even debate. Uh, they're in their own tier, easily. Uh, I didn't, there's no reason for a god tier. I'm not going to, you know, go up to that. Uh, who's better than who? Zamasu, I think, is worse than Gogeta. But let's just go over Zamasu for... Oh, shit! Wait, don't tell me to reset my whole tier list. Oh no, what happened? I didn't click on anything. What happened? What happened? Oh no. Well shit, oh no, it didn't reset, we're good. All right, sorry for the hiccup there. Don't know what the hell that was. I meant to click on Zamasu and the game just said, well, the website just said no. Can I, hello? All right, Zamasu, Z. Oh wait, what? What in the fuck is going, this shit's being funky. All right, Zamasu Z, all right. Hiccups. It'd be like that sometimes. Zamasu is Z. So why? Um, Zamasu is LF Broly slash Blue Android 18 in one unit. Now, again, they don't make these kits very unique, which I don't understand, but it is what it is. Why is he those two units combined? Well, LF Broly, one enemy switches, gets vanished back uh, up to 50%, I think. Zamasu, same thing. Uh, Android 18 and LF Broly have the same effect, where every card used, they get more damage inflicted. Great thing, Zamasu has the same. Great effect. Now, where does Zamasu lack? Well, we'll talk about some more strengths, actually. Green card can go neutral. Unfortunate, it is a long animation, so it sucks. Blue card is a short animation, and it's a long-range attack. And his ultimate does... High amounts of damage, and it should be praised more, which I have not seen a lot of praise for. But his downfalls. This guy will die to any unit, yes, even a yellow in one combo. Um, I, you know, realistic stars, yes, that is the case. If you're saying like 6 star, 10 star, 14 star, obviously no, but realistic stars, this guy's dying to anyone in one combo. It's just, he's not tanky, he's nothing of the sort, he is the most fragile LF we have probably ever gotten. And yes, Kid Buu is very fragile, but I think this guy just shits on him in fragility um is he good yes is he great sure but is he your best unit on your teams no um god key obviously they're red their hope and savior has come that's great uh it's really not the best unit for god key but it's still a unit they got nonetheless obviously he's ideal on god key regen i think he is the best red even at three stars i think he replaces revival cell and Fusions, he's not really an option. Future? Future's his other mainstay team. Uh, mm, I'm thinking about it. I think he has a spot on Future, 
if you don't have the optimal setup because you really don't need a red on future but if you really want to run him he's easily runnable on future with no issues biggest issue is his defense is that he does not have whatsoever they just kind of forgot to give him any but he does have nice death debuffs to the enemy with minus card draw speed for 60 counts i believe and minus health restore i think 60 to 80 percent for the enemy but if they just you know pop vados's main ability or somebody's main ability that cancels all attribute downgrades and debuffs poof it's gone so it's not the greatest but it's good enough now the main headliner of the anniversary honestly super saiyan for gogeta where are you good sir why are you so off from everyone else so obviously i believe super saiyan 4 gogeta is the best unit from this anniversary and it's close it's a contest i would say now why gogeta well firstly gogeta is just better uh better character um zamasu sucks i hate zamasu but secondly uh actual real reasons now gogeta can go neutral so many times he can tank so well his blue card short animation then once you use his blue card he gets another blue card which you can just spam instantly because players like to do uh attacks or something right after getting hit by a blue card they just are panicking so they want to like tap blast they want to blast tech they want to strike guards and if you do it instantly back to back you can most likely kill a pretty decently starred tanky zenkai unit or non-zenkai unit green card destroys all their cards in hand cancels attribute upgrades to them and well cancelable ones and uh nullifies cover changing so you have kefla who does that on her main then you have super saiyan 4 gogeta who's like okay my green card will do all that work don't worry just understand the discrepancy how they shit on kefla and destroyed with super saiyan 4 gogeta his ultimate uh nullifies endurance i believe and has blast armor his strikes have blast armor which is surprising for a defense type i don't think there's many defense type that has blast armor but you know it's not a negative it's obviously only a positive and his one unique um it's strange so it only works on revival units as i've tested where he gets 20 percent health and what uh gains two dragon balls if he kills a revival unit going into reviving so let's say he kills cell in his first life he'll get 20 percent health back two dragon balls which is great but there's really none in the meta so as that becomes more relevant and prevalent to the game that will be obviously a more sought out uh unique ability but he tanks well he has 110 percent damage inflicted when he comes in uh even more damage inflicted with his main ability green card makes him cancel all their buffs so they're really not that tanky at that point if units have sustained damage cut and overall a lot more fun unit uh yes ideal unit on I would say he's ideal on Saiyans. I really see an argument to where you could run a green, green, yellow Saiyan team because every single unit can go neutral and that makes him ideal on Saiyans. Fusions, obviously the best fusion green. It's not even a contest with Gotenks. And I mean, GT obviously, but I think you can argue Super 17 could be a little better in some circumstances, but majority of the case, you could say Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is better depending your star amount, obviously. Normal stars, I think Super 17 does outshine though. But yeah, this is my anniversary units tier list. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys agree or disagree. If I rated someone too low, too high, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.